Alcohol related problems from drinking too much, too fast, or too often affect more than 14 million American adults. Dr. George Koob is the director of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, or NIAAA, and he's here to help us identify signs of alcohol use disorder and ways to get help. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. You know, I think here after the holidays, a lot of us as family members have recognized potential problems. Are there things that we could have maybe noticed or seen while we spent time with loved ones um, that might kind of indicate some alcohol problems in our families? Well, yeah, I mean, some obvious ones are if someone engages in, in overindulgence, binge drinking, so uh, five or more for a male and four or more for a female in a two-hour period. That, that's a d definition of binge drinking. Uh, someone who may be at a party or, or uh, work event or even social event, you know, did some embarrassing behavior. Those are all hints that something's wrong. But, I mean, they can be more serious issues like uh, getting a DUI, you know, driving under the influence citation. Um, or multiple DUIs. So, I mean, you can move on from there. And, and, you know, some of these are all signs of impairment in social and occupational functioning um, and overindulgence. You know, I think what's interesting, we mentioned kind of some staggering numbers, the 14 million people who have a problem. Less than 10% of those are receiving help. So how can we help someone if we see a family member or a friend that may exhibit some of those problems that you mentioned? I mean, this is a real challenge, and, and the challenge, you know, I think there are three aspects that one can address. One is learn a little bit about alcohol and what is an alcohol use disorder and overindulgence. So the, the first website I recommend is Rethinking Slash Drinking, which is a website that we have at NIH, and you, you just use any search engine and use those two words, Rethinking Slash Drinking, you'll find out about what's a standard drink, how much alcohol is in a drink, how many calories are in a drink, how much is too much alcohol to drink for a given weight, and so on and so forth. So it's all, it's all there. The, the second is maybe engage a primary care physician, you know, uh, have them point out the, the untoward health effects of, of excessive drinking. And then the third piece is, is not to be confrontational. So it is a negative, don't be confrontational, but use you know, a tried and true technique called motivational interviewing or elements of it where you, you might want to talk to the person and say, you know, if you really want to meet those New Year's resolution of, of losing some weight or getting a better exercise program, you might want to factor in the alcohol piece or, or if you're saving money for a new car or a better apartment, you might want to factor in the alcohol piece because, you know, drinking a lot costs a lot. I like those ideas. I like how you said they're, they're almost motivational, they're positive versus accusatory. Um, if somebody does need treatment, what sort of options are available? Well, that brings you to another website. And so there's a vast array of treatments that are uh, available. And, and we've emphasized this by developing what we call the treatment navigator. So you go to alcoholtreatment.niaa.nih.gov, what you'll find is not only defining what an alcohol use disorder is, but what kind of treatments are available. And we know there's a wide range that go from uh, certified counselors, clinical psychologists, all the way up to board certified addiction medicine psychiatrists. But there's also behavioral treatments. They can be outpatient. They can be inpatient. Um, motivational interviewing, I mentioned, cognitive behavioral therapy. And there are actually three drugs on the market approved by the FDA to help people along the way. So all of these are options and, and of course, Alcoholics Anonymous. But, it, you know, we now define an alcohol use disorder as, as a spectrum from mild to moderate to severe, severe being, of course, what used to be called, you know, alcohol dependence. And, and we know now that there are treatments that can fit uh, those different stages of the disorder, and you can find this all on that website. I love that, Doctor, and I know not all treatments are the same. I want to thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, you're most welcome. It was a pleasure. And again, that website is on your screen for more information.